tonight to women in Atlanta. They are fighting back against the private parking industry's practice of booting cars. They say it's predatory and they're going viral online for removing boots for drivers. Channel 2's Courtney Francisco is live and Courtney. They call themselves the boot girls. They sure do, and you'll notice all around Atlanta signs like this in parking lots that say your car will be booted. Well, the boot girls provide an alternative. You can't do it. You it may be risky business. This is our property. But the boot girls are doing it. All day, every day. All day. That's how often they say they're getting calls from drivers who have boots on their wheels in private lots in Atlanta now that their videos on social media are starting to go viral. And it is expanded out of nowhere. The boot girls will swoop in and remove a boot from your car for a flat fee of $50. It's controversial because private parking lot companies own the boot and put it on there. The city of Atlanta allows them to charge you up to 75 bucks a day every day the boot is on your car. Predatory. Predatory. Christian uh, Verrett is the one who like started selling the keys that unlock Atlanta boots in the first place about a year ago. It's holding someone hostage. You're holding somebody for ransom. $75 or you can't go anywhere. I'm not leaving my car in the middle of downtown. Well, they'll say, but you shouldn't have parked illegally. As opposed to, hey, a ticket. Put your ticket, walk away. You can just drive off with your ticket in. There's a video right now of a door dasher who parked for two seconds just to go grab an order. I mean, the guy's doing DoorDash. It was kind of a sad video he was really emotional about. He could not afford the seven. He just did not have it. This week, he says he sold nearly $50,000 worth of keys. That's more than 300 orders. Atlanta police say it's not illegal to own one, but using it to unlock a private lot's boot could lead to charges like criminal trespass and theft of service. I believe the police are stretching with that one. The boot girls said they're not sharing their identity anytime soon. We already have people that don't like us, so we'd rather just cover our identity anyway. Channel 2's Courtney Francisco is back live. And Courtney, the boot key salesman says he's going a step further now. That's right, he started a change.org petition that tells city council to ban the boot, stop this ordinance that allows this practice, and at last check, it had nearly a 1,000 signatures. Yeah, this is definitely impacting a lot of people that will be interested to hear about any progress that happens with that legislation. Courtney, thank you so much.